Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel. I am your React JS instructor and my name is Kumaresh. Thank you for connecting with us. Hope you are doing well. Let's start our today's session. Throughout this React Router Link Pass Props tutorial, we are going to learn about how to pass props during multi-page navigation in React JS with the help of React Router DOM package. In this video, we will show the steps to pass parameters and state variables from one component to another through the React routing. The entire demonstration will be explained with the existing React project. Basically, it's a continuation topic which was shown in last video. Also, please follow our first video on React topic to understand how to create first React project. Let's start with the demonstration. Here is the main routing component app which routes different components based on URL path. It routes the components page 1 and then page 2 using the root tag. The page 1 component display the header title of page 1 and link the page 2. We will pass the props from this link to the page 2 component through the routing app component. The page 2 component display the header title and link the page 1. This component will read the props. Now, we will first modify the main routing component app to pass the params through URL. We need to pass props to page 2. So, we will update corresponding root tag. Remove the exact keyword and add type after the path which will represents the parameter. Through this changes, we can pass any parameter value while linking this URL path from the page 1 component. We will modify the page 1 component to pass the parameter and state variable as props. In page 1 component, we will replace the value of link property to with a JSON array. The array contains the path name with parameter and value of state variable. Here we will pass the parameter value as parameter data after the slash page 2 slash. We will specify the state as the next element of the JSON object. Here, we will specify the the name of state parameter and the value. We can assign the local state variable. For our learning, we keep it as true. This parameter and state variable will be passed to the page 2 component through the routing component. We will now modify page 2 component to read this props. We need to import the hook methods useprams and useLocation to read the props passed from routing link. Now, we will read the parameter type and store in a constant variable with name type. The same thing can be written in separate structure as well. Error shows that we have written in wrong place. So, moving the code in correct place. Similarly, we will read the state variable by using the useLocation method. Copying the state variable name and complete the code statement to read this state props.
This statement also, we can write in separate structure. Now, we will log the values of variables type and state parameter as console message for our understanding. Now, save to complete the implementation. We will now check this in the web application. First, open the Developer Tools option from the setting to view console messages. Clear console messages and click on the link. We can see the console logs are appeared correctly for parameter and state value. If we go back, no new log will be there. Again, the new log will be there after clicking on the same link from page 1. The app URL also contains the Purim value correctly. Thanks for watching this video. In this React Router Link Pass Props tutorial, we have covered the approaches to pass parameters and state variables through the React Router component. We will learn more about React.js in upcoming videos. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube Trends, Twitter Trends, Scientific Calculator, and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment, and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.